amidst the pandemic we are facing, we are thankful that you are well, COVID-free, and with us today. Welcome to Central Mindanao University Laboratory High School, Parents' Orientation, for school year 2020 to 2021. Your presence today is the assurance we needed to go on with the plans of the school for this school year. On this orientation, we will address the frequently asked questions by different stakeholders for what awaits us all for this school year. But before that, let us address the question, why is there a need for you to join the parents' orientation and why it had to be face-to-face? There is a need to conduct parent orientation throughout all levels to brief parents on the added tasks required of them as we shift to a new learning delivery mode. Furthermore, there is a need to meet parents face-to-face to ensure their individual commitment to support the learner with the shift of delivery mode. The flow of today's orientation will start with the opening of classes and giving of schedules followed by the result of a readiness survey which was conducted to the students during the online registration of your child. The readiness survey result provided us with the data needed to decide on the mode of delivery and the grading system to adapt for school year 2020 to 2021. It is then followed by the discussion of your added tasks and responsibilities of both parents and teachers brought about by the new normal. Furthermore, school policies which will be adhered during pandemic will be presented and the fees to be collected. To validate the readiness survey result of students, we will be asking you, parents, to answer the survey. Please fill in the survey forms being distributed. Our opening of classes will be on August 3, 2020. Though the first and second week is intended for orientation and mode setting, the first week, August 3 to 7, 2020, is designed for section advisors to meet the students online. Teachers will be presenting guidelines for flexible learning, leveling of expectations for school year 2020 to 2021, creating of Google Classrooms, monitoring students' connectivity, and presenting of grading system requirements and deadlines. The second week, August 10 to 14, 2020, is designed for subject teachers to meet the students. As a summary of our first topic, here are the dates to remember for the first grading period. On August 3, 2020, classes will start. The section advisors will take one week to orient introduce and acquaint the students with the new normal delivery mode. The second week, which starts on August 10, 2020, is intended for subject shifting. Students will have online classes with subject teachers following the class schedule given. The subject teachers will further orient and prepare the students for the flexible learning delivery. On August 17, 2020, the lesson of the subject content will start. As of this moment, no face-to-face -face interaction will be done except for a half-day schedule per grade level, which will be within September 14 to 18, 2020 for the summative exam. Summative exam will be given in school for four hours only. All summative exams will be lumped together in a booklet and answer sheets per subject are provided. A student is given the free will to choose which subject to start with as long as all the exams are done within four hours. Half of the grade level will be accommodated in the morning and half in the afternoon. One day is intended per grade level where a maximum of 25 students will be taking the exam in a classroom. Students must immediately go home after taking the exam. On October 5 to 9, 2020, the first periodical examination will be conducted and will follow the same process with the summative examination. You might already be overwhelmed with information on opening of classes and scheduled activities for the school year. 
Let us proceed to our second agendum. Here are the results of the readiness survey duly accomplished by the students during their online registration. There are less than 10 students in all grade levels who have smartphones except for grade 8 with more than 10, which implies that the use of online learning is really possible except for a few. In addition, more than 60% of the students have computer units, laptop or desktop. The survey revealed that at most 50% of the students of CMULHS do not have internet connection. The result of the survey gave the administration the idea on the mode of learning that will be adapted for the school year, which is modular delivery. This mode of delivery allows students to download the materials or they could spend money on mobile data to download the material. This may mean added expense to parents. However, this may replace pocket money and transportation expenses in coming to school. Apparently, students will not be buying books, but will be provided with modules. The gathered data shows the availability of gadget among students with only a few who does not have access to it. Thus, the flexible learning mode is adapted. It is also in line with the mode of delivery introduced by the university. In flexible learning delivery, we cater the learning needs based on the availability of technology or gadgets. This offers both online and offline delivery mode. Students may text or call the subject teachers too, considering the consultation time of the teachers. For online mode, the school will be using Google Classroom as the learning management system. For follow-up and clarifications, teachers meet students online through Google Meet, Zoom, or FB Messenger. Online meetings will follow the time schedule allotted for each subject to provide time for other subjects to meet online. Since there are changes in the delivery mode, the CMULHS administration also came up with a grading system appropriate for flexible learning. The grading system varies in every division. For science division, the formative assessments are recorded to monitor the progress of the students. However, it is not graded. The summative test and periodical examination, which will be taken by the students in school on their specific schedule, is 50% of the grade. 40% is given to performance tasks, and 10% is for interaction and participation. The interaction and participation grade will be based on the online video conference events and the text messages, follow-up and effort of the students in trying to communicate with the teachers are the basis for those who are offline. For research subjects, output is 80% and summative test is 20%. For languages division, which comprises Filipino and English subjects, the worksheet and output is 20%. Summative exam and performance is 40% and periodical exam is 40%. For mathematics division, worksheets are intended for self-learning, thus submission is optional. However, it is encouraged that students will submit answers to worksheets so that teachers can provide feedbacks and clarify misconceptions of the students. If a student fails in a summative exam, Answers to worksheets provided will be required, and a removal exam will be given. The students will only be given the next material if removal examination have already been taken. Summative exam is 60%, and periodical exam is 40%. For the TLE division, performance task is 40%, summative test is 30%, and periodical exam is 30%. For the Makabayan Division, which comprises Social Studies, MAPE, and Values Education Subjects, a different grading system is used in every component. For Social Studies, written output is 30%, performance is 30%, and periodical exam is 40%. For MAPE, written output is 20%. Practical exam and performance is 
and periodical exam is 30%. The schedule of the wearing of the MAPI uniform will be discussed by the subject teachers in their respective online classes. For values education, behavior is 20%, performance task is 50%, and periodical exam is 30%. The behavior will be rated by section advisors and subject teachers based on the following criteria. 1. Politeness or courtesy. 2. Respect to authority. 3. Cleanliness or orderliness. 4. Obedience or following instructions. 5. Promptness or punctuality. 6. Response to correction. and 7. Honesty. A student will be given a maximum of 5 points per criterion. For online learning, students must install the following educational tools for learning. Google Classroom, Gmail, Google Drive, Calendar, Office, Google Meet, Kotobi Reader, and Zoom. Other applications specific to each of the subject may be required by the teachers. It is during this new normal that the partnership of parents and teachers must be strengthened. Let us work together to extend the extra mile for learning to continue. With the present mode of delivery, students need the support of the parents for internet connection. Parents must also take charge in monitoring the health and safety of their students. If they are sick, they must see to it that the students are at home as stated in the IATF guidelines. They must monitor students' schedule and consistency in doing the required task as scheduled, even if they are at home. The administration is expecting parents to connect with us for updates and concerns, so we can provide an immediate response. On our end, we are doing our part in making the materials available and accessible for both online and offline. Our services will be available to students for consultation as scheduled. We will also connect with parents for the progress of the students given that this is our new normal. We will exert extra effort to provide essential feedback to students and we will provide updates as needed. Together, we can make a great difference in the life of the students who are also adjusting to this new normal. CMULHS School Policy for the New Normal Effective August 3, 2020 until the lifting of any community quarantine. The policies or guidelines stated in this presentation are just highlights of the CMULHS policy for the new normal. The likelihood of making future decisions based on these provisions are high and thus included in the presentation. Other provisions in the CMULHS handbook not stated or mentioned shall remain in effect. Grading system. The passing grade of 75 is given to a score of 50% in all tests. The lowest grade of 65 is given to a score of 0. And the highest grade of 100 is given to a perfect score. A table of transmutation is provided for this purpose. All members of the faculty are required to use the prescribed transmutation table. The grading system varies per division. For this period, the following grading systems shall be implemented. For retention and dismissal, all students must have a passing average grade of 75 in each subject and they must have a general weighted average of not less than 80. A student who failed in three units is dismissed from the curriculum and advised to transfer to other schools. A student who failed in one or two units is allowed to take summer classes from other schools on condition that they will pass the validation test that will be given by the subject teacher as calendar. If a student fails in the validation test, he or she should re-enroll the failed subject. A student who is dropped from class by a teacher for a valid reason is considered failed in that subject and that subject is included in considering for a dismissal. Only the word dropped however, will be reflected on the card or permanent record for the particular subject. A student who lacks three units due to his or her being a transferee or regular 
is retained in the year level where he or she is, except when he or she is graduating. If a student manifests a persistent lack of interest in his or her schoolwork or by repeated failures or if in the judgment of the school authorities by his or her general conduct brings dishonor to the high school in particular and to the university in general, then the student is referred for counseling before he or she may be granted admission. The school reserves the right to dismiss or to deny the student's admission. Any action to dismiss a student from school shall be made known and approved by the university president through the recommendation of the prefect of discipline and endorsed by the principal. Special Provisions on Grading System, Retention and Dismissal In any inevitable circumstances, where the provisions on grading system, retention and dismissal cannot be followed, the ruling of the Commission on Higher Education, or CHED, or Department of Education, or DepEd, may be adapted. For Prescribed Uniform All students shall wear the prescribed uniform properly when taking summative examinations. All students shall wear ID whenever inside the school premises. Students who lost their ID should pay ID fee at the university cashier's office for reissuance. Natural grooming is encouraged for all students. Hair, nails, eyebrows, lips, and cheeks should not be colored. Tattoos are not allowed, especially on visible parts of the body. Jewelries for women should be kept at the minimum and never dangling. Earrings for men are not allowed. A student who wears no or incomplete uniform does not comply with number one, is misbehaving, and will be subjected to rules governing offensive behaviors. No student is allowed to enter the school in slippers, nor in shorts except for some valid reason as determined by the CMULHS clinic in charge. For attendance, attendance in a school activity is required if such activity is authorized by the principal. Attendance in an online class is not required but is highly encouraged. A student is responsible to provide supporting document to be able to take missed activities during his or her absence upon approval of the principal through the recommendation of the POD and must make up before the scheduled submission of grades. Students getting late to any school activity are not deprived of attending the activity. However, they shall be marked tardy and must finish the required activity on the prescribed time. Student Representations all students who will join any official representation should submit a letter or email to inform the office for appropriate coordination and recognition. Budget proposal should be submitted to the office of the principal together with the request of and as a prerequisite of the approval of the said representation if necessary. Student coaches are designated or approved by the office. No student is given the choice to select his or her coach. A student or group of students who deliberately disobey an official coach may be subjected to the rules of offensive behavior. Consultation and remediation. Consultation with subject teachers shall be available on their scheduled time. Remedial classes in school may be allowed subject to the approval of the principal. No subject teacher is allowed to handle private tutoring to students taking subjects under him or her. For offenses, the following acts are considered offense and shall be sanctioned as stipulated in the handbook. Against property, vandalism, destruction of university property, tempering of science and notices, littering, spitting on the floor or wall, unauthorized entry to or use of university facilities, theft, against persons, physical assault on any person within the premises of the university, fighting or quarreling, 
defamation committed against any student, insult, derogatory remarks or flagrant indecency in language in any form, verbal, written, or posted on social media networks, violation of any of the provisions of the Republic Act number 10627 or Anti-Bullying Act of 2013, hazing as defined under the law, identity theft. Against authority, defamation, insult, derogatory remarks or flagrant indecency in language, and any derogatory remarks or indecent or sensual pictures in any form, verbal, written, or posted on social media networks, insubordination, abusive behavior or discourtesy, assault or physical violence, Refusal to acknowledge an official advisor or chaperone. Dishonesty. Involving and becoming conduct. Immodest attire. Hanging blouse showing navel. Spaghetti. Tube blouse. Miniskirt. Very fitting seductive clothes. See-through. Sleeveless. In school or during any school activity held online. Not or incomplete wearing of prescribed uniform including ID, scandalous attire, pictures posted online, cheating in any form during examination, in a written report, research paper, or assignment, glancing at others' paper, using a prepared note of lessons, asking a seatmate or classmate, talking to classmate or seatmate, Showing off or voluntarily sharing a paper or leaking any information about the exam. Using programmable calculators and cell phones, unless otherwise required by the subject teachers. Having somebody else take an examination or test or prepare a required report or assignment. Plagiarism. Entering the school premises or joining student parties or activities in public places in a state of intoxication, loitering or creating undue noise or disturbance in a classroom or office. 7, 8, and 9 are temporarily suspended. Engaging in indecent, obscene, or immoral conduct. Engaging in any form of gambling within the premises of the university. Smoking, engagement in fraternities or sororities, gang, illegal groups, or any organization that may harm the student. Entering or committing any contract or agreement, either singly or in group, with another person or body, without the approval of the office, if such agreement involved few or majority of the high school students. Uncleanliness, use of profane language forging and falsifying of school documents and other official records, improper use of school facilities. 19, 20, and number 21 are temporarily suspended. Against the personal safety of the university community, possession of firearms, explosives, hazardous materials, and other deadly weapons. Possession or exploding of firecrackers within the school premises. Use, ingestion, possession, and or distribution of narcotics, dangerous drug, and other paraphernalia and alcoholic drink. Any other conduct which threatens or endangers the health and or safety of oneself or any person inside the university premises. Driving without permit. Suicidal attempts. Non-compliance to health or safety guidelines and protocols imposed by authorities, etc. Thank you very much for listening. If there are reactions, clarifications, please ask your facilitator to address your concern. After this, we will proceed to payment. Details of fees are posted on the board. Please prepare the exact amount because our collecting officer will not be giving change as of the moment. Thank you and God bless everyone.